Okay, here we go. Going in for the swing. I think one guy's aimed up, so that's good enough for me. Oh, god damn it. What's going on, everybody? Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. The whoa. <laughs> Okay, well, didn't expect that one to happen, but yes, the weekly series where we check out. I can't even control this fucking guy anymore. God damn it, why can't I introduce this fucking video? Look at this guy, oh my god. But yes, this is the weekly show where we check out the most innovative and unique Besiege designs. This first one is a yoga simulator, as you can clearly fucking see. But no, seriously, this is obviously a chariot, and a pretty cool chariot at that. I love how realistic not so much the horse looks, but the human. Like, he bends his legs, it looks like he's trying to control this horse around. So I'm gonna go up here. We don't go up here often enough, I find, so I, j I just want to take my chariot up for a little ride here. And as you can see, pretty damn good for a horse to get over this type of terrain. This thing just keeps going and going. Every now and then, what the fuck? What's that? Every now and then the chariot gets stuck. I would love to play with the, just this horse, to be honest. Okay, now this is just starting to feel like cruel and unusual pu punishment. I'm gonna have uh, PETA knocking at my door soon. Oh, shit! Oh, God, he just exploded! That was horrifying! And now we got human parts everywhere with a little bit of wagon spread around. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Horse, wait for me! Please wait for me! Horse, <laughs> God damn it. Oh god. Oh, the chariot broke. That's not good. <laughs> okay, hold on to her, buddy. We're still going. Definitely not as fast, though. And that's just commitment by this horse. Like, he is just giving it his all here. <laughs> it's not going very well. I'm gonna try and jump down the mountain. Let's see what happens here without a chariot. All right, little horse. Be free, little buddy. <laughs> Bring me with you. Oh my god, it actually worked out. He's still going. Like, this horse is seriously impressive. It hardly ever breaks. Oh my god, isn't it so majestic in slow motion? I love this horse, it is just the derpiest motherfucker. And I'm seeing this bomb over here and I'm thinking, you know what, that's gonna be awesome in slow motion. So I'm gonna go try and hit it here with this horse. Thankfully, he's pretty good at steering, so we should be able to hit it first try here. There we go. Oh shit, we went over it! <laughs> oh god, where am I? Oh, there's just hands left, there's no human left. The horse though, I think... The oh. <laughs> it's on fire! Oh my god, this is so beautiful though. The destruction is just great. Okay, that, 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 was, that was the best idea ever. I'm gonna run everything in the bombs from now on. And let's see if the horse will make it when he hits the ground. Oh god! <laughs> his, his head popped off. Okay, I thought he would be okay. He's a pretty sturdy fucking horse. Clearly not sturdy enough for uh, a 200 foot fall though. So yeah, that was the chariot. Pretty interesting. Let's move on though. Next up, we got the Handley Page Type O. This was a World War I era British bomber, and it is just fantastic. I like how you actually have to extend out the wings, which we will do right now, connect them together, and uh, hopefully go bomb something. Actually, where are the bombs on this? I'm curious. Okay, wings are connected. Let's see if we can see those bombs. Yep, there they are, right in there. You can see those little small suckers. And there's supposed to be 18 bombs in this thing, so that's pretty impressive for World War One era. So let me just make sure I got all the controls right. It's looking good. So let's take this sucker off. Oh god, it's been a while since I've flown a plane. But hopefully we can take this old school bomber out and uh, do it successfully. So there we go. Actually, very low amount of run runway you need to take this thing off. Okay, but controlling wise, it's actually not bad at all. You can see I'm a little bit sideways. It's a little bit of a heavy plane, especially for its speed. Um, but after you get the hang of it, not too bad at all. You gotta remember, there's 18 bombs on this thing. Let's see if we can maybe even bomb the statue here. That would take a lucky shot, but I'm going right for it. Here we go, gonna drop a bunch of them. Oh yeah, we're gonna hit that for sure. Oh shit, I hit myself. Now I will say, uh, this one does need to be run in invincibility. I don't even know if you'll see it though. I think we broke the game. Uh, because it's in invincibility and I just basically exploded myself, it's totally confused as to what to do. Okay, here we go again. I don't want to stall this thing. I'm going really slow right now, but I'm gonna drop the bombs on this fucking statue once again. This time, at least I didn't get hit by it. We took out that whole statue. I think that was my first successful bombing run in, like, Besiege history. 
So yeah, gotta give it to the World War One era planes. Oh my god! That would have been so great if it hit my plane and took me down with it. That was the torso of the fucking statue. So delayed. That was hilarious. I don't know why my camera's going so far away, but it's got a few cameras on this as well. You can see cockpit view. Can't see much in these old school bombers. I don't even know if I'm going to hit the uh, ground yet. Oh, I'm hitting something. Oh, no, I'm not. What the fuck happened? I don't even... Where am I? Okay, I'm, I'm clearly at the edge of the map. Okay, let's just turn around here. I should not be doing these type of maneuvers in an old biplane. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, we saved it. Oh, my God. I can actually fly something. Okay, but I did want to showcase it does have a bomber view as well. I didn't even need that view, but it still is cool that it actually has one. So, yeah, pretty cool little World War One era bomber. I think we got rid of all the bombs. At least I hope we didn't. Yeah, there's nothing left in here. So, that was 18 bombs done. In a couple seconds. Oh, look at this view, too. This is so cool. All right, let's let's, let's go for a backflip here. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Oh, yeah. In a, in a fucking biplane bomber, I can do a backflip. Not in anything else, though. There we go. Success. <laughs> oh, there's the wall. All right, well, if heavy metal was a tank, I think this would be it. This is called the Burning Caterpillar. It's a cute little tank, but it's also pretty fucking hardcore. The tank tracks are on fire. Now, I gotta assume these flaming tank tracks will be great against these guys. We can just, like, walk into them and flame them up. They're not gonna bother me at all. You know what? Let's back up, get the rest of these guys. There we go. All right, let's try the rockets now. This thing's got two little rockets on the back. So there's the first one. Oh, I think that's going, yeah, a little too far, unfortunately. But <laughs> they ran right into that one. Is that little knight stuck in my track? Oh, my God. They, they're... <laughs> Okay, so the things that held the rockets are now holding the the damn knights on the back of my vehicle All right. Well, I guess they can stay there. There's not much else. Okay. There's one guy here So I may as well show off the actual turret, right? So we do have you know It, it, it is a tank after all we got an actual turret here But because this is a flame based vehicle this thing just shoots flames instead of you know cannonballs so, the guys are coming. Let's, uh, move this ahead a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna flame them. You can't really see very well with, uh, this view because of the fucking flames, but I think I did get them. Let me actually go out here. Uh, we still got the guys stuck to my back, but yes, there's their charred bodies. We did get them after all. And one final trick up this tank's sleeves when you really gotta go fast. It's got a rocket on the back that makes you go, well, maybe about two miles faster. So yeah, that was the Burning Caterpillar in a nutshell. Uh, a pretty cool little tank here. I do love the flaming tank tracks, obviously. Alright, next up, we got Mr. Samurai here. Now, Mr. Samurai, I don't really know how to use him, so let's just try and uh, bring out my inner samurai here. I'm feeling pretty good about it, so here we go. Let's try this out. A nice swipe. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not a samurai. God damn it. <laughs> did he did he lose his leg? Yeah, he did. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, clearly you got to be a little bit more careful with this sword. So the swing back is what gets you. You really got to be careful with that because you really can break a leg. Literally. I'm, I'm fucking flying now. Look at this. My inner samurai is finally coming out. Now, can I actually kill something? That would be great. It's looking like, no, I'm only killing myself right now. <laughs> Okay, but obviously, oh, wait, 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 I was actually gonna try and do something right for once, but I forgot about the bomb, guys. We need to, we need to swipe this in slow motion. It's gonna be fucking grand. Okay, so first of all, let's aim it up. Oh, this, this has some pretty cool cameras, by the way, like this camera right here. Great for aiming up, but I want to see the carnage, so we're gonna leave the cameras right now. And, uh, I'm hoping this is good, but I am gonna wobble around a lot, so... It might actually be bad. Here we go. I'm going in for the swipe. Oh, God. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that just hit my head. And, <laughs> well, my frigging sword didn't hit it. I think my leg did. But still, totally worth it. <laughs> hit the samurai. He's nothing but fire right now. All right, let's speed this up a little bit and see. Oh, he's, he's actually still intact, at least. Well, he was until he hit the ground. But yes, let's actually try this thing out the way it's supposed to be used. Uh, you can see he is on roller skates, which is pretty cool. Alright, these guys are gonna come. This is gonna be actually very hard to do. So let me see if I can just hit one. Oh god, there goes my legs again and I'm flying away. Alright, see you later. <laughs> the problem with this game is the enemies are just too damn small sometimes. So let me see. Oh, well, I just, I just want to swipe with my sword. I'm a samurai after all. But every time I do, I just end up flying away. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Samurai on samurai action. All right, good luck, good buddy. 
Um, yes, I'm controlling both at the same time here. So it's probably basically going to be mirrored, but let's try this thing out. Oh, I'm, I'm stabbing each other. Okay, so we need to back up a little bit so we can pull back these swords. So, oh my god, this is, this is fucking horrifying. Okay, here we go. Going in for the swing. I think one guy's aimed up, so that's good enough for me. Oh, god damn it. These are not the fluid, majestic samurais that I expected. They are pretty fucking derpy. There goes one, and the other one's joining him. Okay, sweet. Our people need us once again, I guess. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> oh, God. That was actually pretty cool. You know, to be honest, I really wish these guys didn't fly away, though, because it would have been really fun to just fight them. But whenever anything falls off of them, they tend to fly. So pretty much impossible to do a battle when your teammates, you know, 100 feet in the air. But yeah, that was the samurai. Gotta say it wasn't as fluid and majestic as I expected a samurai to be, but it was still fun. Okay, next up we got something we don't see too much of, which is really weird to me, uh, because I, I would assume people would want to go fast in this game, but a lot of people don't make fast creations. Obviously this one's a dragster. We got Stiggy Poo in the front here. He's holding no steering wheel, so uh, I don't even think they're steering for this. As you can see the front wheel, yeah, no steering at all. So this is a true straight line dragster. I, I hope you'll be okay, Stiggy Poo. Uh, I'm assuming you will be. Let's try this thing out. It even has a wheelie bar. For good reason, as you can see, the the front still off the ground here. We're actually going in slow-mo. I don't know why I'm in slow-mo right now. Let's speed this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, this thing, <laughs> it's not really a dragster. Oh, well, we broke something off. It's more, you know, kind of just flying. Like, the front wheels are not coming down at all. So we definitely need some downforce on this thing. But now we just want to keep going until we hit the invisible wall. There it is. But yeah, I honestly wonder how good this thing would be if we do put some, either some weight or some downforce on the front. So I think I'm going to try that out. Let's uh try and edit something a little bit and make it better. Okay, let's try some of these wings with some downforce on them. Obviously, they're usually made for lift. We'll try four on each side. Now these ones we gotta invert in a second here, but that should give us some enough down drag to hopefully at least keep this wheel on the ground. So we'll see how it does here, and uh, this might be the easiest fix for me. Oh, it might be too much. Yeah, you can see we're not going fast now. So that might be why this thing is always in the air, just because there's no easy way to do just a little bit of downforce. So I'm just gonna try one here. I feel like that's more than enough, actually. So we should be good. Oh yeah, there we go. It sticks to the ground now, at least. But again, I feel like it's slowed down so much, and it's actually spinning out now, oddly enough, which doesn't really make sense, because both sides are pretty much mirrored. If Well, they are mirrored. Okay, what if we try more in the middle, because it, the, the further you put it to the end, the more I gotta assume the downforce is. This is way better, but I don't know why it actually spins out now. I'm really confused as to why that would happen. Again, both sides are exactly the same, so I gotta assume the downforce will be the same on each side. You can see the thing slowly ripping apart, though. Alright, well, I did some more customization to it. I put a lot of downforce in the back because I wanted to stop that bouncing from happening, and it did fix it, but it's still turning to the left for whatever reason. I also added some weight to the front to uh, deal with this bounce now. As you can see, it looks a lot more better in terms of, you know, less bouncing now, but still, I don't know how to fix the fact that it's always turning left. It's just... I'm going straight, and it's just always going left. So yeah, from that to this, I do kind of like how bonkers crazy it is like this, though. So probably the stock one is a bit better. Let's try and hit the wall here, just because it's fun. There we go. Destruction is always fun. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besiege Creations. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, checking out a bunch of different designs. I think we had all different things this week. Some planes, some dragsters, some tanks. Hell, even a wonky-ass walking samurai. That didn't go very well, though. But yeah, guys, as always, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one.